Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another video on my channel and uh, today I'll be showing you what I found yesterday uh, in, a, the, in a car boot sale in uh, Dunton near Basildon in Essex UK um, I will do only the Hot Wheels in this video I do collect all the brands uh, but I, I think I will do a separate uh, video with all the other uh, different brands um, so I've found enough enough uh, Hot Wheels for a, a cool video, so uh, and there's plenty. Uh, I don't know if I can uh, squeeze it in half an hour, but we'll see. Uh, and this uh, first one is a Highway Hauler 2, so that there's multiple versions. And this is number 28 uh, for 2015 in the Hot Wheels uh, Art Cars um, series. And uh, I'm gonna swap that for the next one, which is a custom 41. Uh, Willis Coupe. Uh, this is 2016 and it's number 96 for 2016. Hot Wheels Flames um, and it's uh, a dark blue. Uh, note that this is a custom 41 Willis, not the normal 41 Willis. Um, and the next one will be this Lamborghini Aventador uh, J um, in blue. Again, uh, a 2015 car, but this came out of a, a five pack, a set of five uh, Hot Wheels exotics. Uh, still a nice find. Um, a little bit played with, but you know, I mean, I don't mind. I'll uh, replace that now with a Chevy Silverado 2007. And um, this is number 168 um, from 2013 in Hot Wheels uh, showroom. And um, yeah, you can see it here, nice. Uh, tribal thingy going on the side of the doors and it's pearl yellow and the next one will be the good hum humor truck with the ice cream and the uh, blue and red uh, clown uh, that is from 2001 uh, it's number one, 144 uh, there's two versions of this this is the one with the blue interior and there's a version with the red interior so I think I'm going to have to find that. Same design, is just the interior. That's black, blue plastic versus the red uh, plastic. So, yeah. Uh, next one is an old 442. The sort of raised version, the W30 version. And that's from um, 2016. That's number 161. Um, in Hot Wheels uh, Daredevils. I'm going to put them back in their baggies once I'm done with them. And uh, yeah, this is a very nice one. The wheels are okay, so happy with that. Um, the next one is a 67 uh, Pontiac GTO uh, from 2003. It's number 66. Um, Dragon Wagons uh, 2 out of 5 uh, series. And uh, the next one I found is a 2010 Toyota Tundra. And that's from 2014, number 131, and it's um, obviously in Hot Wheels, uh, Off-Road Hot Wheels, Hot Trucks uh, series. Uh, the next one is from 2008, and it's a Celine uh, S7. Uh, it's from 2008, number 72, and it's part of the All-Stars series, number 32 out of 36. So, uh... Let me switch to a Datsun. See, I have them all bagged up uh, since yesterday because uh, I've logged everything and uh, yeah. So, next one is a Datsun 240Z. It's number 243 for 2015 Hot Wheels showroom, then and now. And uh, that, that is the uh, white color, uh, the white variation. The, the, there is another color, I, I, I forget now what the other color is but uh, yeah I yeah this is a very nice point uh, so I'm happy with that uh, now a very famous casting cool one um, this I already have loads of but I didn't have this uh, variation this this uh, this is from 2013 Hot Wheels stunt and it's number 77 for 2013 so that's uh, that's a nice one uh, another new one in the uh, collection. Um, now, the next one is a Volkswagen T2 uh, pickup. This is from 2017. Uh, uh, a Hot Wheels, again, 
art cars uh, it's number 295 out of the 365 uh, for 2017 um i'm very happy with this one i do love uh, these uh, any type of volkswagen um especially this version of the t2 as that said um next one is uh combat medic and uh, i found two of these this i believe is the one in a better condition uh, and i've got another one just there so i found two of the same this one has a slightly rusty wheels i'm gonna put that aside but yeah this is from 2015 um and it's number 47 uh, for that year um i grabbed both of them because i recognize the uh uh, I recognize the fact that I don't have this version, so again, uh, a win-win. I won quite a lot uh, yesterday, it was a, what, probably one of my best car boot days uh, ever. Uh, and you'll see, I found quite a few um, sealed ones as well. Uh, the next one is a 68 El Camino uh, from 2013, the jukebox uh, collection, 15 out of 32. And I love that sole uh, livery. It's uh, it's a very nice color, a very nice scheme. Um, I love it for that. I had to have it because I don't. I, I definitely didn't uh, recognize it, so I knew I didn't have it. This is from a batch of uh, nearly mint cars, uh, and the next one is the same. So this is a '72 Ford Ranchero, and it's from 2013 Hot Wheels showroom. Hot Wheels Hot Trucks in uh, this nice magenta color. And it's number 163 for 2013. So, um, yeah, this is again, the gentleman I bought it from had a had a bag full of, uh, they're mixed now, but I bought about 20 of them in uh, almost mint condition. I mean, well, I'd call it mint, but if you look closely, you might find the odd chip as they were basically just stored in a plastic bag. Um, right, the next one is a 2008 um Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR and it's number 47 for 2017 in the Nightburners um, series uh, and within that Nightburners it's 8 out of 10 Nightburners for that year so uh, a lovely livery um, Toyo tires, Speed Hunters and stuff like that um, again I didn't have it so I had to have it um, next one is obviously mad props that's a famous uh, casting for hot wheels i didn't have this version with the green wings and this is from 2014. um funny how they put it in a hot, hot wheels off-road uh, slash hot wheels daredevils i mean it's definitely off-road because it flies and it's number 124 for 2014. um and here we go uh the only loose treasure hunt i found is this rescue duty in very good condition I'm very happy with that one uh, you can see the as it spins around you'll see the red um, treasure hunt logo on the door and this is from 2014 um, Hot Wheels City Hot Wheels Rescue and Lime Green it's number 47 for, uh, for that year um, yeah I'm happy it's a treasure hunt I mean obviously everyone wants super treasure hunts but um, I, I'll settle with this um next one is this volkswagen uh, kefer racer uh, and it's from 2017 this momo livery um obviously uh, the, 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 there's a different version of this this is uh what same number so 156 i love the engine at the back um 156 for 2017 and this is the black version i believe if i'm not mistaken there should be a red body version but it's definitely a color variation for that year so there's there's definitely uh, two uh and the next one i love that car that that, that is very beautiful uh next one is the third 1932 ford delivery um this is from 2001 so oldish um and this came from uh, a five pack called the skateboarders five pack um uh, I like it, it's in a very good nick, I didn't have it, so, well, most of the stuff uh, I bought yesterday I didn't have, apart from a few bits, but I don't mind getting duplicates, I bought them loose anyway. Uh, this I haven't cleaned, it's going to have to go through a little bit of cleaning process, but it's 
process, but this is a 2008 uh, Ford Focus. Uh, graffiti rides five packs, so it came out of a five pack, uh, and that's from 2015. Um, what have we got here? Uh, yeah, we have, we have a good humor truck. Yeah, so that's uh, from 2017, and it's number 332. Um, and it's part of the Hot Wheels City Works number 8 out of 10. Uh, how the attack of Cell Secundo uh, variation. I, I believe I already have this somewhere in my collection. I've got thousands, so I can't tell, but I recognize the, the paint job. It's just that this was in, uh, I think uh, I bought quite a few from the from the lady, and she uh, she did me a deal for, uh, yeah, for quite a few, so I might as well, you know, add that. Uh, now we've got a Volkswagen, another Volkswagen, but this time it's a cool combi. Again, 2017, uh, from the Surf's Up uh, series, 2 out of 5, and it has the Moon Eyes and the Surf Shop um, delivery. Um, stickers on or whatever yeah tampos and it's number 302 out of the 365 they did that year um i'm going to replace that with a uh, uh a series that i very much like the the blings uh how <laughs> i've always had a soft spot for blings and this one i recognized as missing from my collection uh, this is the blings version of the dairy delivery uh, this is from 2005 and it's number 115 um, in the Crazed Clowns 2 series. Um, and it's within that series, it's number 5 out of 5. Uh, I really love that uh, this, this clown uh, on top. Um, right, next one is a Turbine Time. And that's from 2015, Hot Wheels City Works. Uh, it, but in, it, this is actually the first, uh, it was a new model for 2015, and it was number two for that year, so two out of two, 250, uh, it's very good condition, um, same gentleman sold me this, um, this is a 32 Ford, and it's number 81 uh, for 2006 in uh, Bone Blazers, um, series uh, and it's one out of five um uh, yeah five spoke wheels and it's uh, this very nice flat black with the skull and that that the design on the side of the doors the next one is a mastretta mxr um and that's from 2015 uh hot wheels world race series six out of ten but it's number 151 for 2015 uh, very nice Hot Wheels stick uh, logo on the back, very small. Um, the next one will be Forward Speed. That's a very interesting casting. And it's number 42 for 2015. Uh, Hot Wheels City uh, slash Hot Wheels Race Team. Um, not quite cool. I don't mind uh, um, these designs. Very nice. Uh, this I, I had to get because I have it uh, um, in sealed version. This is a color shifter, and I, I did think it was a bit soon for this to hit the car boot, but it's 2022, and it's a 2008 uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Revolution. Um, okay, <laughs> I thought, yeah, whatever, I might as well get it and play with it uh, without having to open the, the one I already have sealed. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, slicked back is the next one. Uh, this is from 2005, and it came out of a 5-pack called Wildcats 5-pack. Uh, it's an amazing cast if you ask me, I, I like these. Um, Jaded is next, and I didn't have this uh, uh, version, and that's from 2015. Again, it's a multi-pack exclusive. I checked it on uh, online, it doesn't say whether it was a 5-pack, a 10-pack, or something like that but yeah it is what it is uh, another quite recent uh, casting is this Porsche 934 turbo RSR this is just last year the 2021 it came out of a uh, five pack of night burners five pack and uh, yeah I do have the five pack I think I bought two of those five packs I have them sealed um, so I've got another one to play with um, I don't mind buying them if I if that means I can keep the the packs sealed 
Uh, this is a Deuce Roadster from 2006, uh, number 150, which is the mainline model, but I still find it very cool. Um, especially since I didn't have that design. Well, I'm going to keep saying that, but it's clear that if they're in this video, I bought them uh, because I, I didn't recognize them as being part of my collection. So, Rocket Box is next. Uh, 2017 Hot Wheels Art Cars, 10 out of 10, but its uh, mainline number is 226 for 2017. Um, so, yeah, I'll move on to another Porsche. Uh, Falcon livery. Uh, that's very nice. Uh, again, another 934 Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. But this is 2016, uh, and it's number 181 for that year. And it's part of the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics Series, 6 out of 10. And it's a nice uh, silver. I do like uh, the Falcon uh, liveries on any car. Um, the next one is a 64 Chevelle SS. And it's number 2233 um, for 2014 Hot Wheels Workshop. Uh, obviously Muscle Mania um, series. And the next one is one of the... Probably one of the most confusing models Hot Wheels has ever done, because it has not one but five a different um, Treasure Hunt flame logos. One on the on the bonnet there, one big one there, and another small one on the cheat lines there, and the same thing on. So there's five different Treasure Hunt logos on it. But guess what? It's not a Treasure Hunt, so not confusing at all, Hot Wheels. Uh, and that's a Bone Shaker uh, 2015. And it came out of a 5-pack, so I guess maybe selling point for the 5-pack, whatever, it doesn't matter. Full of Treasure Hunt logos, not a Treasure Hunt. Uh, and this came out of a, a pack called Origin of Awesome 5-pack. Uh, and the next one, this one is a bit played with, but never mind, it's still, it's still uh, decent. And it's an Aston Martin V8 Vantage, number 56 for 2016. Uh, it's part of the Mild to, mild to Wild um, series one out of ten um yeah very cool uh, and the next one is actually cooler than a, than a treasure hunt uh, for me especially for yesterday's hunt and that is this 1992 uh, ford mustang um which is from 2012 but it was part of the mystery models uh um the ones with the black blisters that you had to open before you found out whatever uh, whatever was inside and this is number seven out of 24 for the 2012 mystery models and it was a walmart exclusive so for me to find it in the uk especially in the car boot i go to uh, i think that's a very good result and it's in very good condition so i'm very happy about this find. um the next one is ratified uh and it's from uh, 2013 uh, it's number 446 for that year, and it's part of the Hot Wheels uh, Racing Super Chromes. There's quite a lot of chrome going on there. Uh, that's uh, it's quite a cool um, fantasy model. I don't mind it. The next one is a uh, nice opening uh, bonnet. I think you can see the engine there. Yeah, it's a 57 Buick, and it's part of the 2015 Hot Hot Wheels Road Trip-In series. They did 21 models in that series, and this is literally uh, the last one, so 21 out of 21. Um, so I found another one. It'll come up later, because they're now they're mixed in the bags here. And the next one is B a Bad Bagger with a figurine. Uh, this is just part of the 2013 uh, motorcycle series in pearl white, but removable. Um, uh, rider, so that's a cool one. Um, usually the 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 figurines uh, get lost, so it was nice to find this um, with the the figurine on, um, as well. The next one is another Ferrari. Well, another Ferrari in my collection. I already have this, but I'm not saying no to a Ferrari because they stopped doing them in 2014, so I'm not gonna get any. Um, this is from 2013, a Ferrari 458 Italia with a nice Hot Wheels uh, uh, racing stickers and uh, uh, the skull on the bonnet. and uh, It's number 81 for 2013, part of the Hot Wheels Stunt slash Hot Wheels Drift Race series. And it's, uh, I always love finding a Ferrari. Um, 
it is what it is. Right, this one is a, a quite old one, a bit battered, but for its edges, I think it's doing quite well. It's from 1980, and it's a, a, a Vet van, a Corvette van, and it's part of the 1980 Hot Wheels uh, High Rakers series. Uh, Hong Kong, you know, it was cast in Hong Kong, so uh, it was cool to find the 1980 uh, model. I found another one which is uh, just a year older. But uh, what amazed me about that, I'll sorry, let me place this. This again, the bonnet lifts up. This is the hair splitter from 1979. Um, the, 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 the decals have kind of faded away, but what's impressing is that it still has the, the uh, tire rack on top, uh, and the wheel is still, the spare wheel is still there. All in, it's in good nick for, for, a, for a model from 1979, it was a very good find. And this is the variation with the orange roof rack. There is a slightly um, darker red uh, variation, again 1979, but different uh, colored. It's just a bit, yeah, this is orange slash, depends on how you look at it, but it looks red from some angles, but there is a slightly darker red version. Anyway, it's a lovely find, so I'll treasure it with all the other older models I've got. Uh, this is a Dodge Sidewinder from 2006. This is uh, uh, this has definitely been played with quite a lot because it has quite a few chips, but I love them all the same. Uh, and this came from a, a five pack uh, called Hot Trucks from 2006, so I don't mind it. Uh, right, this is the next one is a 1965 Chevy Impala, and it's uh, a 2017 casting, um, and it came out of uh, a Hot Wheels Flames uh, five pack. Nice uh, gold color and gold ten spoke wheels. Um, moving on to the next one, which is a 1971 uh, Maverick Grabber. And this came um, out last year. It's just a 2021 multi pack, multi pack exclusive. But um, I must have it in one of the uh, sets of 10 or 20. I definitely have it somewhere. But it's good to have it in good nick in, uh, in loose condition. Another cool combi, a Volkswagen cool combi. Another variation I didn't have. Um, uh, there is a different color for that year, can't remember what, but this is the blue one with the yellow base. Uh, and it's number 201 uh, for 2014 Hot Wheels Workshop. Uh, there is another, so that year there were two. This is one of them, and I need, I still need the other color variation. Uh, the next one is a McLaren 720S. Um, it made me laugh a little bit when I uh, checked it on, uh, the, on fandom. Um, it's from 2019. Uh, it's number 221, but the, on the color it says Metal Flake Lantana Purple. So I guess they copyrighted this this sort of shade of purple for that particular car. Everyone seems to be doing it nowadays. Uh, the next one is Riveted um, from 2017. Uh, this is actually part of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 uh, collection that came out in 2017. Has a Drax um, logo and it says Guardian News of the, of the Galaxy Volume 2 on top. Uh, quite cool. And this within that collection, it's number two out of the eight uh, for the Guardians of the Galaxy series. Um, nice to find them. Uh, these character cars or whatever. Uh, Shark Ruser next. I love those green wheels. And they're still in, they're not bent or anything, it's in almost mint condition. And this is from 2014, um, uh, Hot Wheels City Street, Street Beasts, 2 out of 5. Um, yeah, it's a very cool uh, variation, I didn't have this one before. The next one is 24-7, um, number 145 uh, for 2014, Hot Wheels Race Team. Um, just this white with Hot Wheels um, tampos on top. It's a nice, nice little car. Uh, the next one I, I only got it because I um, 
I instantly recognize I don't have this this variation with Slimer from Ghostbusters. That's a bread box from 2016, and it it was part of the Ghostbusters uh, series number two out of the eight they did in within that um, collection. Um, I don't have the collection itself, but it's good to have one at least one loose in very good condition. The next one is a Lotus Lotus uh, Esprit from uh, 2015 and it came out of a five pack um, five pack a Hot Wheels Exotics uh, five pack so that's uh, I don't know, again a very nice find the next one came from a super rig set didn't find the rigged only the the car this is fast cash uh, and it's from um, 2018 um, I can't really pinpoint exactly which rig it came with um, I don't think it's this one because I bought it from a different seller uh, I will try to google it and see uh, what comes up um, I only looked it up to see what year it was um, right so the next one is a uh, 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro uh, special edition uh, and it's number 180 um, for 2017 it's part of the Camaro 50 um, series three out of five um, very very good nick um, it was a bit dusty but I wiped it off and uh, I didn't find any scratches so that's that's amazing uh, next one is a 67 Chevelle SS396 and this comes from 2016 Hot Wheels Flames uh, and it's number 92 for um, uh, that year in mainline and the next one is excessive and um, this is from 2012 uh, jungle rally five pack okay so it came out of a five pack but this is the ver there is a version previous excessive in the past used to be sort of cracked here and you could do this it used to spin around the middle axis but this is the retooled version uh, so it doesn't rotate anymore. So that's that's the, the change, that's the retooling, retool version. It's still cool, uh, and I needed it, obviously. The next one is a 71 El Camino, uh, number 233 for 2013. Hot Wheels Workshop, Muscle Mania 3 out of 10. And it's, uh, yeah, number 233 for 2013. Uh, yeah, they're, they're very cool. Uh, little cars there's another version of this um the next one and i love these uh is a custom 77 dodge van and i uh obviously art cars because you can see by the swirls and the shapes it's an art car um and it's number 197 um for 2016 uh the next one is a 67 chevelle but the X, X, X Racers uh, um, version, obviously the C3. I've got loads of these and I never know which one I need. But luckily with this one, this red is from 2013. Uh, number 137 for that year. And I didn't have it. So as luck would have it, I, I chose well. Because there's there's quite a, f it's quite a lot uh, done on that casting. Uh, especially the X, X uh, Racers uh, series. Uh, the next one is a Volkswagen Golf a um, MK7, and it's from 2017. Again, Hot Wheels art cars. You can see the zoom and the zoom on this side and crash on the other side. Sort of cartoonish look to it. And it's number 111 for 2017. Um, and this nice pink. The next one is Bullwhip from 2015 and uh, this is number 100 out of the 250 they did that year uh, and it was a new model uh, the the year this one came out so result to have the first one that, that they ever did uh, right the next one is a Toyota 2000 GT in very good condition I'm very happy with this one uh, it's a 2015 car and it's the other one from the Hot Wheels road trip in um, series the 21 I mentioned earlier and this is number 18 uh, within that series um, so a lovely find another fantasy model coming up double demon 
uh, and this is number uh, 76 for 2014 Hot Wheels City fried cars and this very nice chrome gold um, so a lovely a lovely cast another one a piranha piranha terror and this is from 2014 monster mission five pack so it's purple with the uh, green base slash front teeth um, so yeah I didn't have that so I had to have it uh, the next one is the Vanster a uh, very nice uh, uh, casting. Um, this is from 2014, Hot Wheels City Works, and it's number 10 uh, out of the 250 they did that year. Um, it's the first time I've seen this 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 car yesterday. I didn't even realize it existed. There's loads of castings I'm not familiar with because I haven't seen them. Um, this next one is a Screamliner. Uh, and it's from 2014, Hot Wheels Workshop, Hot Wheels Garage, 4 out of 10. And it's number 204 um, as a main line for 2014. Uh, I do love it. It's, yeah. the, no, the next one is a Grass Chomper from 2017. Obviously one of the high Hot Wheels ride-ons, uh, 3 out of 5 for that uh, year 2017. And it's number 45 as a main line out of the 365 in 2017 although they they didn't yeah those years in those years they they used to um, give a separate number to the same car if it had a color variation so mm, yeah another porsche this time a 934.5 and it's from 2017 this one is a bit dirty but the condition overall is very good, so it's just uh, just some smears. I don't know whether it was chocolate or whatever it was, some syrup. But it easily clean, it will easily clean off. Um, and it's number one hundred and fifty three uh, for twenty seventeen. Um, the next one is a very nice uh, Nissan Skyline, um, and it's from twenty nineteen. Urban camouflage, one out of five within that series and uh, this is a Nissan Skyline H slash T 2000 GTX I love the, uh, the scheme on that it's uh, I think it's very cool it's a cool casting overall you know it's, uh, I've always loved uh, anything Nissan right next one is a bike like Ca Canyon Carver um, and it's number 48 for 2015 Hot, Hot Wheels City series Hot Wheels Rescue um, Obviously, because of the police logo, it, it would have been Hot Wheels Rescue. Uh, the next one is Slider. And it's from um, 2008. Uh, not that much information on this, just part of the V-Drop um, series. Um, the next one is Sandblaster. Which is based on a Ford F 150, but it took it a bit further. Uh, and it's from 2014, obviously, Hot, hot Wheels Off Road, um, Hot Trucks as well. Uh, and it's number 135 um, out of the 250 they did that year. Moving on to Tomb Up. This is very freaky. Uh, and this this one is from uh, this number seventy eight for twenty fourteen, uh, Hot Wheels City Fried Cars again. This is another of those Fried Cars from twenty fourteen. Um, it's it's cool enough, you know. I don't mind it. Uh, right, we'll swap that for a Morris Mini, which I already also found on the same day yesterday. I found it both uh, loose like this one. And I also found it sealed uh, on a long card, if I remember correctly. But I think I might do another video on that, because this one is just uh, getting longer and longer. And I don't want to have uh, videos that are way too long. Um, so I might uh, just finish after, I think I've got two or three left. Yeah, And then I'll, I'll, I'll finish this video and do the other ones um, in a separate video. Right, so that was Tomb Up. That was more of the Morris Mini Cooper. 
and the next one is another variation of the uh, bread box that I didn't have um, Hot Wheels Art Cars because of the design on it uh, and this is from 2015 Hot Wheels City, Hot Wheels Art Cars uh, Hot Wheels Art Cars in this emerald green sort of overall color with the little swirls and everything and this was number 2019 for 2015, uh, 29 sorry uh, its mainline number was number 29 for 2015 so yeah and the second uh, custom 77 Dodge van that has the treasure hunt logo on it but again it's not a treasure hunt so thank you Hot Wheels for doing that to me uh, you know, I always get, uh, you know, hyped up about seeing that logo, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a treasure hunt. I, I, well, I mean, you just have to look at the wheels. Normally, hot treasure hunts have different wheels and they have, and they're different. But this came in in, um, in quite a few variations. This was this this version is actually the new models for 2008. It's number seven for 2008. But this is one of five color variations for this van alone. So five colors they brought out in 2008, and this is the um, lavender uh, variation. So this is one. I, I need the other four. I need four colors of the same thing. And I'm, I've checked all four of the other ones, all five altogether. They all have that logo, just different different colors, uh, and none of them are treasure hunts. So, mm, yeah, it is, it is what it is. Let me look around and see if I miss something. Nope, everything is done in... In terms of, oh no, I've got two more, but these are not sort of mainline. And the first one is a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner, and you can tell they're bigger than the normal Hot Wheels because these these were specially made for the Fast and Furious series. Um, I believe they're from 2016. If I'm, I could be wrong. I'm not gonna hazard uh, mentioning a year, uh, so I'll scratch that. So I found two. They're slightly bigger than the normal uh, Hot Wheels and um, yeah it doesn't say Hot Wheels on them but they are made by Hot Wheels uh, it just says Mattel this one has 2016 underneath, underneath it and the next one as well and then the second one I found a uh, very good condition I do like that um, that sort of paint job uh, and the next one is a 1970 Dodge Charger so again um, same sort of scale much bigger than the regular hot wheels if you look at them uh but they, they're part of the uh, fast and furious uh, fast and furious uh special thing they did um so it's uh these are the uh the two i have found within that series and that should complete the video for uh oh no i've got another one actually i've got another two yeah might as well do them yeah is there a bag yeah so i've got this uh disney pixar bunny and ducky what a cool casting that is is just uh, ridiculously cute i love these um sort of disney character cars but this one uh, they're attached to each other so you can, they're not uh you can't remove uh, uh ducky and uh, these ones I found now well this first one I'm not sure whether they go together but it's basically one of the Hot Wheels NASCAR uh, um, cars let me see uh, with a generator or whatever that that is yeah uh, it, they were bagged together um, I know I know Hot Wheels has done these this series uh, but I I'm not sure that um, that little trailer goes with that particular car, and I'll show you why. Because the next one I found, this is uh, it's got Woody the Woodpecker on the bonnet, so that's that. But these two actually match. See, you have the big K Mart, the big K Route 66. So this these ones do match. Uh, see. The K. That's why I'm I'm I'm, I'm confused about um, the previous one because the sponsors just don't really match. So yeah, it was it was a cool find. You don't really find these NASCAR um, these sort of NASCAR style cars with those tires 
uh, in the UK unless you buy them from either America or whatever. So it was a very cool find. I'm, I'm very happy for, for these. They were loose, but well bag, bagged uh, with their own little generator or whatever that is. Uh, I'll leave that there. So that was the last. That's definitely the last one. Is it? Yes, it is. Um, that's the last one. So all in all, for the for, I I think I've done amazing yesterday. It was an amazing day. I found loads of Hot Wheels. Uh, I left quite a few behind because I have to find something next Sunday. Uh, and most of the ones I left behind I already have anyway. It's just a matter of sometimes I just buy them just so I can you know give them to someone else or or do swaps or whatever. But these, uh, I think 90% of the ones I got yesterday, I didn't have in my collection. So it was a very good day for my collection growing, you know. Uh, so yeah, that, that was uh, um, it basically for this video. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll follow up with the uh, rest of the finds from yesterday, the other brands and the uh, sealed Hot Wheels. Because um, uh, I found quite a few nice ones. So yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's all the loose ones I found. Have a great day, guys. Come back for more videos. I'll do, be doing loads more. I've been busy lately, but I'll definitely focus on doing more videos um, on all the fronts. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Until then, I hope you're all still safe and you all have a great day. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.